The nostalgia surrounding steam locomotives makes them popular tourist trains. Today, many restored steam locomotives operate as tourist trains in various parts of Japan. In Shizuoka Prefecture, Oigawa Railway in particular has been making an effort to restore and operate steam locomotives, with four in working condition operating more than 300 days a year. As of May 2023, there are 17 steam locomotives, including Oigawa Railway, in commercial operation all across the country. However, that number is decreasing. JR East discontinued SL Ginga in June 2023 due to its age and JR Kyushu announced that its SL Hitoyoshi, the oldest steam locomotive preserved in moving condition in Japan, would be discontinued in March 2024. Despite the difficult situation now facing Oigawa Railway, they are still working to preserve and operate steam locomotives. In today's program, we take a look at Oigawa Railway's commitment to preserving and operating steam locomotives, resources vital for the company's survival, as well as regional tourism. Oigawa Railway, which runs along the Oi River in Shizuoka Prefecture, is a private railway company with two lines totaling 65 kilometers in length. The Oigawa Main Line in particular is known throughout Japan for its steam locomotives. Japanese National Railways ended its last steam locomotive service in 1975. The following year, Oigawa Railway became the first company to revive steam locomotive operations. Currently, the railway has four steam locomotives preserved in moving condition. Including a steam loco modeled after the famous children's book and TV character, Thomas the Tank Engine, which began service in 2014, attracting many tourists. While most companies limit their steam locomotive operation to weekends and holidays, Oigawa Railway operates them throughout the week. Running more than 300 days a year, they attract many passengers. However, the pandemic caused passenger numbers to drop significantly. The pandemic was then followed by a natural disaster. In September 2022, the region was hit by a typhoon and heavy rain, causing landslides and track beds to wash out. Since the disaster, the railway has been working to restore the line, but as of September 2023, more than 22 kilometers of the Oigawa main line remained out of commission. In 
addition, Oigawa Railway operates not only steam locomotives, but also trains primarily used by local residents, so it was a big hit to the region. In September 2023, a support group consisting of volunteers from municipalities along the line visited the Shizuoka Prefectural Government and submitted a petition with the signatures of 36,000 people requesting support for the restoration of the entire line. They signed the petition concerned that the issues affecting the railway, a vital tourism resource, could also lead to local economic decline. 本当に何よりも何よりも大事な生命線だと思ってます。鉄道が全線開通の目、朗報というんですか。嬉しい連絡がつくまでは頑張っていきたいと思います。In October 2023, some progress was made toward the restoration of the line. A 2.9 kilometer section of line that was previously closed reopened. Of the 39.5 kilometers, 20 kilometers, approximately half of the entire Oigawa main line has now been restored. On the day the section reopened, many residents gathered by the railway bridge that crosses the Oi River, waving banners and flags to celebrate. やっとここまで来たなって感じで、で、この間ちょっと試運転ここで走ってるのちょっと見たんですよ。本当に涙が出るぐらい嬉しくてね、本当にもう、もう今ワクワクしてるんですよ、心が。だからこれがまたいつにな
Although the restoration of this section seems like a ray of hope, there are no prospects for the remaining 20 kilometers as of yet. Oigawa Railway is not only a vital means of transportation, but with the steam locomotives, it's also a major tourism asset, which is why the locals hope for the line to be fully restored. So the locals have really high expectations for Oigawa Railway. However, do you know how big is the impact of the steam locomotives on tourism there? Well, according to the statistics, Oigawa Railway carried approximately 567,000 passengers in 2018. And that's before the pandemic, by the way. And out of that, 286,000 were actually the passengers on the steam trains. So more than half of their passengers were actually passengers for the steam locomotives. So it's no wonder that they would like to have them restored as soon as possible. Yes, indeed. However, the company estimated that the restoration will cost approximately 1.9 billion Japanese yen. And the company stated that they cannot finance that on their own. So the next big step that should be taken is that the central government and the local governments all come together to form the framework so that they can support Ogawa Railway for its restoration work. Mm, let's hope they can find a solution. Next up, let's have a look how Oigawa Railway maintains its steam locomotives in working condition. Currently, most steam locomotive repair and inspection facilities are owned by JR, having taken them over from the former Japanese National Railways. Even private railways that operate steam locomotives in the Greater Tokyo area outsource large-scale inspections and repairs to JR East's facilities. But inspections and repairs are costly. A general inspection once every four years costs more than 100 million yen. Despite this, Oigawa Railway and its partner company have managed to keep the locomotives in working condition, handing down inspection and maintenance know-how to each new generation. Tokai Kikang, a boilermaker headquartered in Shizuoka City, has been maintaining Oigawa Railway's steam locomotives for more than 40 years. In January 2023, the link between the two companies was strengthened when Tokai Kikan built a facility in Shimada City, the location of Oigawa Railway's depot, for the sole purpose of maintaining steam locomotives. This benefits the railway as it cuts the transportation costs normally incurred by the company when moving the steam locos for inspections and repairs. Oigawa Railway has four working steam locomotives, but at any one time, at least one of them is under inspection. Four mechanics of varying experience, from newcomers to 30-year veterans, are responsible for maintaining the steam locos. This is Ms. Yoshida is the youngest of the four mechanics. Graduating from a local technical high school, she started working for Tokai Kikan this year. Ms. 
弟が笑顔になってる姿を見て SL の運転士よりかはその SL 自体を直して人を笑顔にしたいなって思ったからです。It's been eight months since she was assigned to the SL maintenance facility. In that time, she has been working to learn the basic skills under the guidance of her peers. Now, Ms. Yoshida is checking by feel to see if the SL parts are still usable. The bolt or the nut is a bit too hard, so it's a bit of a struggle. So, I took it off and it was a bit of a struggle, so it was a bit of a struggle. There is no manual for steam locomotive maintenance. It takes years of experience and know how passed down from generation to generation. To make sure they're always ready to conduct repairs, the mechanics also have to manufacture some of the more hard to get parts. 当社の一番こだわってる部分はできるだけ昔の技術をそのまま残すなんとか昔の蒸気管車が最も盛んに使用されてた時代の技術をそのまま守っていこうっていうのが一番のコンセプトなんですねやっぱり昔のものって残していくのも大切だと思うんですよやっぱ今って電車とかがメインになってきてますけど昔ながらのいいものもあるのでそういうのを残していければなって思います It's the skill of these mechanics that keeps Oigawa Railway's steam locomotive operation going The techniques passed down through the generations are themselves considered industrial heritage More than 45 years have passed since Oigawa Railway started operating steam locomotives. In recent years, they've had to suspend their operations several times due to vehicle issues, running electric locomotives in their place. あの、製造からもう80年、90年経っているような古いものばかりでございまして、大規模な修繕ですとか、あの、ま、時間のかかる整備等で蒸気機関車があの、ま、ま、長期間運用から離脱せざるを得ないような状況が頻発してしまってい
というところまでは難しいなというのがいろんな方の意見ですね。That's when Oigawa Railway stepped in. Examining the locomotive's condition and finding that it could be restored to working condition, they decided to acquire it. やっぱりこう長い間50年以上近くこの地にいた SL ですので、まあ、生,か生かしてもらえるというかねそのまま活用していただけるというのは本当にありがたい話だと思いましたね。However, at the time they made the decision to take on the Class C 56, the company was facing severe financial difficulties, with fair income down to less than half due to the pandemic. So the company turned to crowdfunding to cover part of the restoration cost. In just over two months, they raised more than 84 million yen. The Tourism Association of Kato City, the city that originally preserved the Class C 56, also began promoting the project through social media and fundraising activities, and they continue to do so even though the crowdfunding campaign has since closed. Oigawa Railway's crowdfunding efforts not only resulted in financial support for the steam locomotive project, but also showed how many people share the company's determination to keep the steam locomotives running. の皆様の,あの愛情のバトンを、えー、と受け継いだ側の、えー、と立場としては、まあ、しっかりとその愛情をあの、まあ、真摯に受け止めてあの、まあせあのまあ、動体化をしていく責任を果たしていくというような、えー、と覚悟で、えー、やらせていただきます、まあ、動体化はやっぱり難しい道のりではございますがあの全力を尽くしてまいりたいと考えております。The Class C 56 from Kanto City will be restored and is expected to start commercial operation in 2025, the year Uigawa Railway celebrates its 100th anniversary. It seems like it's very challenging for Oigawa Railway, a rural railway in Japan, to maintain not one but actually four steam locomotives in working condition. Yes, indeed. Steam locomotives cost very much to not just operate but to maintain. So it is a challenge, as you said. But、uh, up to now, Oigao Railway managed to do that, especially thanks to the very high ridership of the steam trains. Yeah, I'm excited and hopeful to see the steam locomotive from the park get a second life again. Yes, indeed. And that will be a very great news for the local community. But、uh, it's not just A good news for them, but for the entire railway industry, especially for companies who are running the steam trains. Without them,、uh, I think、uh, no other companies can actually operate steam trains properly. So, Oigawa Railway is actually an important linchpin for the steam locomotives in Japan, then? Yes, I think so. Railway Topics October 14th is Railway Day, commemorating the day the first railways started operation in Japan. On this day, railway related events were held throughout the country. At the JR East Rolling Stock Depot in Morioka City in Iwate Prefecture, visitors were invited to look around their steam locomotive. This steam locomotive ran as the tourist train SL Ginga until June 2023. It was finally discontinued due to its age. 
子どもたち、SL 大好きなので、また乗ったこともあるんですけれども、ぜひ一緒に乗りたいなとも思います、ね In Yamagata Prefecture, JR Yamagata Station held a railway festival attracting many visitors and families. Here at the event, children and adults, about 10 at a time, experienced riding a mini steam locomotive on an almost 50 meter long course. And here, the kids had fun trying on the station master's uniform. They had a great time taking photos all dressed up. On October 8th and 9th, a railway festival was held in Tokyo. This event is held annually to celebrate Railway Day. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the event. Around 70 companies, including JR as well as private railways, took part in the event, promoting their companies and selling limited edition goods and railway parts from their booths. In this pavilion, the winners of the Japan Railway Award, issued by the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism, were on display. The Japan Railway Award is an annual award given to companies and organizations that have made outstanding achievements in the railway industry. This year, along with the grand prize, four special prizes were awarded. And one of them was awarded to Japan Railway Journal. Our program received the award in recognition of our efforts to promote the charm of Japanese railways to the world from a variety of perspectives. It's a great honor for our program to receive this special award of the Japan Railway Award. Yes, indeed. And I'm really honored to be part of the team. Everyone on the team is very excited, and we are looking forward to sharing more wonderful and fascinating aspects about Japanese railways with you.